Hey, hello guys on YouTube today. How are you guys today? Well, we got a bit of a unboxing of a desktop internal hard drive. It's a 2 terabyte drive. It's a Western digital uh, drive. And what I'm going to be using it for, guys, is I'm going to be using it for my laptop, but with an external uh, case by uh, USB. And the reason why I needed a drive, uh, well, because I uh, do videos for uh, YouTube and I need something to store my uh, videos on, um, but my laptop computer only has a 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, Seagate drive. Let's go ahead and show you what um, this drive is compatible with. Well, let's look on the uh, box here. Uh, we got some information here. Up to two terabytes, it says though. Here's a couple of the own information this drive can can do. You can also get a standard a standard uh, drive. You can also get that black edition or somewhat like white edition now. And here is the you know drive go one, two, and three, and you can copy files into your. Uh, computer and stuff like that. Um, by the way, it's not been opened. Let's see, that's too sealed. It's a pretty heavy um, drive. Um, let's see what it is compatible with. I would say it's compatible with Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Mac OS, Lion, and also uh, uh, Linux as well. So it's compatible with all those operating systems as well. Um, it's a pretty nice uh, shot. It's a, it's a dust a standard hard drive. It's a 2 terabyte hard drive. It's not a solid state drive. Uh, I didn't pay a lot for it. I like, paid a hundred bucks for it. It's a pretty nice looking drive here. Let's go ahead and do the uh, unboxing now guys. Let's go ahead and get out my Huxy knife. Here, we're going to be gently on opening the video, and yes, I know my blade is a bit dull, but we're just going to try my best to open it very carefully without nicking up the box too much. And this uh, drive has a up to a two year warranty on it. I'm very surprised with the two year warranty. It ain't bad. It'd be kind of nice if it was a more of a five year warranty on it, but hey, it's only a two terabyte drive. Um, you know what you always say, guys. You know, sometimes you look out and you get um, a bit more of a warranty on stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty decent drive. Uh, it's a pretty um, big old drive than what my. Uh, than what my computer has in it right now. Uh, it's worry about peeling that stuff off there once it. Let's go ahead and open the box itself. Um, this does not come with a SATA cable. It, the SATA cable is sold separate. Here is, uh, inside of here we got some Instructions. It's gonna pull out the whole thing out. It's pretty tight. We got some instructions, some insulation guides, and stuff like that. Pretty nice look. Pretty nice drive. It was just the information about it. Just the original digital internal hard drive. Um, it's a pretty nice looking drive though. Let's go ahead and take her out of the package. Being, again, very careful with it. And it's sealed very nicely in. Oh, I got the green edition. Oh, that's nice. Got the green edition um, drive here. Two terabyte drive. It's a very, uh, very unique drive. Before we uh, go ahead and open up the drive, 
I need to get my carrier, my hard drive carrier case here. And we're going to go ahead and open this up as well to stick all inside of it. And yes, you are going to need a computer to format this 2 terabyte drive. Now you have a 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte, uh, 3 terabyte, and a 4 terabyte drive. Here is what the carrier I'm going to be putting on. And it does come with screws with the case, uh, apparently it doesn't come with screws with the whole drive. But that's okay. I'm used to have to using different size screws for different things. And I have to make sure you use the right type uh, screw for your um, whole drive. Let's go ahead and tear the uh, stack back here. Easy than said than none. Oop. Oh, I thought that wasn't, thought that wasn't that far, but eh, I think it'll be fine. We're going to plop all out of there. I'm going to stick on top of the case. And we're going to take a look at the drive. We're not going to touch the uh, circuit board too much. There is the SATA drive circuit board. Very, very lovely. Um, uh, green edition, uh, original, uh, original uh, hard drive here. Let's go ahead and put all inside the SATA connector or drive connect connection now. It's a tight fit, but she fits in now. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put a, a, a screw on it to kind of hold it down. And yes, I have my computer. I'm going to use my computer to <coughs> format this drive. And this does come with different multiple screws. It comes with big or small screws. Let's go ahead and look on the bottom here. We're going to go ahead and use the bigger screws to help to hold the drive in place. You are going to need four of the screws. Well, typically you don't really need four. Only you can actually use. Uh, you can use um, two would be fine. But I would recommend putting all form um, and to help to kind of hold it in place. Um, you can buy external drives and you can also buy ones or internal drives. This is an internal drive and yes I'm going to be using it as an external uh, hard drive for my computer. And we're going to go ahead and settle down. Here's the screws. Uh, these screws are going to be quite tricky to get in here. Let's go ahead and try to sit it down without putting any too much stress on the uh, SATA connection. Hope you guys can see that. This does also have a fan inside of it to keep the uh, drive nice and cool. We're going to go ahead and put the screw in it. The screw doesn't need to be that tight. The screw just needs to be snug to hold the drive in the place inside the case. And yes, these screws can be quite uh, quite tricky to uh, get in now. Again, yes, you can use those two screws to help to hold the hole in place. But I'm going to go ahead and screw all the way in. And stuff like that. Does to keep off from sliding too much on the case or inside the case. Eh, see what I mean, guys? This one screw is being picky too. Oh, they're all kind of picky. You don't like me today. What the heck? Tiny screws. Doesn't want to go in the 
Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? You can also buy external cases uh, for this as well. And now I got my original digital 2 terabyte hard drive in the case, external uh, case. This case does have a SATA port, it has a power on and off, it also has a USB, and it also has a power jack, and it does have a fan inside of it, and it is a green drive. Pretty nice, 2 terabyte drive help. And we're going to stick the cover back on the 2 terabyte drive, just like so. And now we're going to go ahead and screw the terabyte, 2 terabyte drive into place, like this. Again, don't need to over tighten it, just need to make sure it's nice and snug if you are going to be carrying this around with you, but I don't recommend getting the small, um, uh, small ones because they're uh, easier to carry around than the big old desktop um, dry cell. And after we get our screw it in here, and I'm also going to grab my laptop to format my drive. And the reason why I need to buy a bigger drive, guys, is to put a uh, storage on our stuff as well. Like, you know, just my standard uh, video stuff and YouTube stuff and on information about my computer. Okay, now we're going to bring my laptop in. We're going to move the hard drive off to the side. Bring my laptop in as well. Now, well, let's move you guys a bit back here before you guys can uh, kind of see where my hard drive is sitting. Here's my hard drive. Sitting over there. I know it's kind of a kind of a disaster here, but that's okay. We are going to take the power book, the power book, and we're going to take the USB cord, and we're going to plug it into the computer, and we're going to plug in the power. But the reason why I bought this drive was. Not just to use it, mostly just for my computer. I also use it can can use it for all and stuff too, like files, um, music, and all and, um, information of what this drive can I uh, do. I'm going to go ahead and plug the power in to the computer. Take the DC jack to the video and we're going to go ahead and turn the cables around the lap laptop bill and we're going to go ahead power the drive itself on let's see there's a the drive the LED is working now because the drive is then recognized in the computer. The reason why it didn't recognize inside the computer, it did make a bing bong. But you have to go here, uh, go to the control panel, and go to tools, and go to mineral information hill. And also click hit yash. And the two terabyte drive should come up. Just waiting for the uh, thing to load up. Go down to that guy there. 
good amount though guys, it takes a while for it to load. And ah, the two terabyte drive should be down below here somewhere. Hmm. Don't know why that's not working now, guys. Well, you can see here's what my computer is. Oh, there she comes, connecting new device. Original digital uh, hard drive USB now. Good to see now I have all this black here. How do we convert the two terabyte drive into a usable disk? Hmm, it is a good question here, guys. See if I can format my drive. Ah, there you go. For new format. Do I want to call it? Well, right now we're just going to call it. You can click on that and you can name it whatever you decide to name it. So right now I'm just going to leave it at G right now. We're going to go ahead and leave it at whatever it's set to. And we go ahead and finish. And now I got a usable 2 terabyte hard drive on my laptop external drive. And now what I can do is now I can now go into my computer and it should pop up somewhere. Well, it's still loading, guys. You know, it, it's a two terabyte. Uh, it's a two terabyte drive. It takes, it takes, it takes a while to load. And here is the two terabyte hard drive. Connected and formatted to my laptop computer. It's nothing else on it, guys. You can also buy a external drive. Uh, you can buy ones all uh, pre-installed with the software and stuff like that. But you know, this is a two terabyte drive. Uh, it's going to give you a lot of space on it. Stuff like that. Right now, it's saying I only have about ha half of the drive, but that's okay. We'll, we'll figure that out and. Uh, and a little uh, date hill guys, but you can see it's now just a new format G right now, and that's what it is. Now I can finally maybe move all my videos off my laptop, or even more now, but I also bought it mostly for my laptop computer. But all I did to get my 2 terabyte drive to format to my laptop is <coughs> I will show you the steps. Yeah, let's go to your administrator. You go here, and you click on that one. And you click on this one, and you just format the uh, two terabyte drive you prefer to use. Now, we do have a uh, uh, four terabyte. You can also buy that too. And we can show you on how I did it again. We go to uh, directly to go to the panel here. Go to the top one. Go to the bottom one. And hit yes. And when you hit yes, and what's going to do is going to pop up this format drive on Windows 7. Even a Mac can do this too. And there is my hard drive. And I think that's about it guys. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to format and use a 2 terabyte internal drive, desktop drive, to an external hard drive to your computer or to your laptop computer. But alright guys, I hope you like, 
I hope you please uh, subscribe. Please leave a comment if you want to know on how my hard drive is doing and how it's doing good. I will show you that in a upcoming uh, dates and stuff like that. Alright guys, uh, peace out. Bye guys. Well, see you in the next vlog. Alright, later guys.